Once more I find myself on stranger shores. In the absence of other options, I will enact what little I know of the Germans' plan. Take it easy, Tack. Don't get it. After a slight diversion out on the ocean, I've arrived on site at the Japanese facility. Time to see what horrors Division 9 have cooked up. supposed to hurt? 
Because it didn't. Take it easy, Tack. Do you Influence of Group 935 cast a dark shadow across this island. Division 9 have aligned themselves with the darkness. They are an evil that must be extinguished. Alright, so shopping free. Here we go. Now 
you just want to run the same route that I do. Uh, if you can do the whole slide jump, slide jump like I do when running, even better. But if not, yeah, you, it'll still work out just fine. Um, I'm going to buy a wall gun while I'm at it at a certain point, and I'll uh, point it out when I do. You you sh um, should just skip that. Don't even you know uh, don't even try doing that. It's more important to get the map itself unlocked. And if possible, you'll hit a second gobble gum. We must tread carefully. This island holds many secrets. I feel a calm chill when I think of the evil. All right, so right here, I'm gonna buy this. Um, gun and then spin hit that door. You would just hit the door and keep on going. Don't worry about the wall gun like I did. Not until you're extremely comfortable with the shopping free route. Now you'll hit this last door. Slide forward and hit the gobble gum again. Anywhere be here for me. Mystery candy follows us everywhere. Why I wonder. All right, guys. Um, hey, conflicted diamond. Um, I'll clip this out later on. Hence the reason I've got it paused. Um, so I'm recording it with the with the idea of of meaning it for it to be a guide so i'm going to probably hold off on responding to chat the way that i normally would um if it, you guys are like hanging out at any point if possible if like um you could just mention it um to them just so they know i'm not ignoring them i wish that i was able to put a welcome message the way i could on scotty but um, just to you know specify that I'll be reading everything but I'll just uh, hold off that way it's not confusing to people that come later on and you know use it for a guide since I plan on uploading it and good morning <laughs> Um, before you can type all right you lost me there and thanks guys all right let's continue all right so first thing look at the symbols here three two one or however you can personally memorize them though. the purpose of this object uh, You'll want to grab the little wire coil, which will be either right here, right here, or right here on this rock. That's going to be the first piece for your gas mask. Now, remember those symbols that I just looked at. What we're going to do is come over to the challenge podium, and we're going to get the skull with that symbol set on which will be for me right here the remnants of the right now with respect. we'll check our challenges eight spiders with spores fan trap and five spores all right low key or uh, yeah let's go let's go go ahead I was about to say, let's try not getting the spider one, just so that uh, the whole go whole plan is uh whole guide will be done by around eight, and that gives me a chance to actually speak to you guys. Hi, <laughs> sorry. 
And yeah, um, I'm able to specify like everything on my overlay. I'm able to specify whether to show it on stream, on recording, or both, or none of it, like not show up at all. So the chat box I have um, hidden, same with the overlay and everything else. Along with the notifications. <laughs> hey, Lebowski, thank you for the follow. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lol, perfect timing. Um, Just since actually attempting to do the Zetsubo one right here. And Anshu, thank you for that host, man. Um, oh, no, no, no. I'll be, I'm going to be reading everything that chat says throughout the game. Um, but that way it's not distracting for people that come later on YouTube and watch it. Nice, Loboski. That's what's up. <laughs> so I've got the intro already like um, recording and everything. So I'll just clip it in whenever I get shopping free so I can continue to talk for a second. <laughs> So let's see. But this bucket is very important. The island. Home to the way that I've got it suggested is for people um to actually shoot all the zombies eight times and then knife up until they have two zombies left. Then hit their gobble gum. That way, worst case scenario, even you know, on a bad um RNG game or something. They would still have plenty of points to do everything the way that I um, do it all round one. A little impractical if you're worried about um, speed or time, but um, this is based around the fact that they're got the time. Oops. Got aim. What? There. In other words, we're about to see just how shit my um looks gonna be for today. All right. And doesn't look like it's going to be off to a great start. So Lebowski, did you, uh, how did the Easter egg go for you, by the way? Have much trouble? And the whole deal with the difference between getting the all the points versus not is um before getting the shopping free is mainly because of one situation. If you hit and get shopping free and then unlock the map, hit your second gobble gum and it's perka. It's uh, I mean, it's good, but it's a rip because you can't get all those points that you normally could have gotten. Since, you know, you can't shoot a zombie as many times if you have Perka. Uh, Gorod, yes. Um. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's what's up, man. 
And yeah, I want to actually... Maybe I should just include it in the comments and pin it. But you're actually... Like I'm able to... Uh, do it now where it's guaranteed round 9 finish. All because of one trick. And that's the fact that you don't actually have to kill zombies to get the um, fuse... Um, craft module fuses to drop. You can just hold the zombies for a few moments and let them despawn and they'll drop the fuses. That way you don't have to sit there and kill zombies and you know push through rounds. Split up zombies. Can we please stop with all the poking? Whoops, that aim. If we still, uh, yeah. okay, at least it's different. I can deal with it as long as it's different. As long as it doesn't sit there and just go fire cell, and then next game fire cell, then next game fire cell. <laughs> if it starts repeating, what I'll do is actually, get, uh, no, actually no, no, no. I need to stick to the fifteen hundred points before hitting. Y'all don't let me be impatient. <laughs> Cause yeah, it's a it can make a big difference for those that use it for a reference later on. And Anshu, I've also made it mention that they don't have you know that fire cell can be switched out for extra credit or raindrops. Figured um Figured you'd um dig that point. Oof, Lebowski. Ouch. Yeah, freaking of all the Easter eggs. This one I feel, you know, that shopping free is so much more bay than the other maps. Hell, Gorod, I can, 90% of the time, I can get Groff modules done. Well, now that I can finish them all round four, guaranteed, not so much. But before learning this most recent trick, I could finish um, Groff modules with the classic Gobblegums on the same round that I could do it with Shopping Free first hit. Yeah, diamond. You are brave one. I will give you that. For real. Big ass map. <laughs> and the fact that you can't even go through bunker because of having to cut on power. Although even you know even if you could go through bunker, you barely have just enough shopping free to open the doors that I do. So you know it's not like you could open any more. But um, the way that I'm sh gonna show it right here, you're able to get literally everything that you need up to getting your skull. And opening the purple water room, I'll be able to be, um, be done all round one. All right, so we get our shopping free, and then just run the route that I'm about to. 
if you can do the whole slide jump slide jump the way that i am bonus points but it's not uh, it's not required we should not be here Oof. Everything was fully functional. I would still find this place All right, so I'm about to hit the wall gun here. Skip that. Actually, I skipped it myself, apparently. <laughs> Just hit the door and then keep coming. All right, by that door. Slide. Hit this one. Now, if you have the gun free lift, slide forward and hit the gobble gum a second time. Any robot here? All right. So before doing anything, come over here to your challenge podium and see what challenges you have. Eat a fruit grown from a plant. Obtain a power up from a plant. And water five plants. All right. So, in just a moment, uh, once I open up the bunker, I'll pause and actually go through all the challenges that you may have and give a explanation on how to do each challenge. Alright, but first, we're going to come over here and look at the symbols. I personally call that 3-3 three, three, because there's three symbols and then three symbols. But however you can remember them, just take note of that. And then come right here, and there will be a black rope or coil looking uh, item. If it's not there, it'll be either here or right here on the rock. So just pick that up, and that's going to be your first gas mask part. Right. So the three symbols we are the symbols we were just looking at on that ritual. We're gonna come over here to the podium and find the skull with the matching symbols. I am not in the habit of picking up skulls, or indeed any bones. Now, when you place it down, I personally suggest doing the one over by the fan, uh, by the plane trap. I suggest doing it first. That way, you can do the second ritual at spawn, just because. The first ritual that you do, no matter where you do it, the first one will only spawn zombies. The second one will spawn zombies and spiders. Dealing with those spiders right here at this ritual is a pain, so it's better doing the second ritual there at spawn. The third ritual will spawn zombies and thrashers, and the fourth will spawn all three. All right, so let's place that. And just kill the ritual zombies while making sure not to kill the real zombie. The ritual zombies will have this green mist around them. That's how you know, you know, that um, they're for the ritual and not the real ones. You can just knife away. They have no chance of dropping power up, so you don't have to worry about picking up a nuke. When it finishes, pick up the skull and just take it back to the podium. Now, if the zombies do too much damage to the ritual, it'll fail it and you can't redo it until next round. Now, that's 1-1. One, one. So, we'll go get that skull and place this one down. All right. We are setting in motion. Now, before I do this next ritual, we'll go around the map and go ahead and open the bunker. Now, when you drop down right here, you'll have a shield part that'll be there on this tree or right here on this tree. Scraps alone are useless. All right. Now you'll have a skull part that'll be right here. I will be honest. I am holder. 
right here on this box or right here on this crate. While you're over here, you want to grab the green water. Uh, it doesn't have to specifically be this way, but since you're in this area, it's uh, just easier. Uh, let's go ahead and get this hundred. All right, so what you do, full bucket of water, you see um, bottom left of your screen. Come up here and place it in the temporary power. You have to do that on this side of the map and then over here on the other side of the map. What that does is gives you, like right there you see a green, that's because we just put temporary power on that side. We haven't on this side, so it's red. But once you get temporary power on both sides, you can open the bunker door. It doesn't cost, it's just um, getting the temp power for it. So blue water is going to be here. Nikolai is like bucket, sad when empty. We'll go ahead and get this free hundred. Go ahead and place it here. Maybe permanent power is located somewhere. Just while we're at it, we'll go ahead and lower this cage. We'll make use of that later. And I personally always go ahead and refill my bucket. Must remember, water with 115 is not for drinking. Water with one this way we can plant seeds if we need to, but I'll cover that in just a moment. Before running away from here, go ahead and pick up your shield part, which will be either on that wall, this wall, or right here beside the Kuda. Find value in those things which were not valued. All right, now one of the challenges that I mentioned at the start of the game, one of them, if you have it, will be to kill three zombies as they are mutating. All right, so you'll have zombies that'll, if they walk through spores, um, that'll occasionally turn into these I'm not sure how to actually describe them, but you'll know them. <laughs> These big shambling dudes, they call them thrashers. Which, the goal of the challenge is you have to kill them before they turn into those thrashers. When they start turning, you will hear and you will see it. Um, they'll turn bright orange and you'll see this orange mist or, or this orange glow around them. And then they'll go into the ground and a thrasher will come up. When you open the bunker door here, uh, just make sure that you have the at least the RK5 and just pre-aim as you hold X on the door because there's going to be one of those uh, thrashers that spawn right behind the door. There will be three to four zombies, one of them will turn into a thrasher. It's extremely easy. Like I said, just make sure you have the RK5. Just Free aim, look for the orange, and shoot. That's simple. Alright, so that would be one out of the three done right there. Alright, so that little orange there, <laughs> it that's the sport. It would get it'll get bigger each round. They're all around the map. You'll see them just on the walls. If you walk zombies through them, or pass them and then shoot those spores. That's what will um, give you a chance of getting those thrashers. Sometimes you want them. Sometimes you know you don't want them. All right. So go ahead and while we're at it, we'll list off all the challenges that you may have in your game. All right. So there's. Let's get over here to the podium. Alright, so the top, very top trial, 
it will reward you with a perk slot. The middle tr challenge will give you a gun. It'll be either Dingo, SVG 100, or the Brecky. If it's not the one, what you do is you hold X on the challenge, and that's what um, the reward will be right there in the skull area. If it's not the gun that you want, when you hold X on it, don't pick it up. Just give it a second. Let the reward go down. Come over and hold X again, and it'll switch around. Like it'll switch through the guns till so you you know you get the one that you want. And the last or the long bottom challenge will give you a max ammo. So we'll start with the max ammo challenges just because they're typically the simplest. You can have five different challenges. Uh, the first one will be water the same plant three times. The seed that I mentioned on round one, bottom left corner. You'll see these little um, dig sites just all around the map. You just plant it, hold X on it, that'll plant the seed, and then you'll make sure to uh, water it with whatever water. You don't. Uh, typically want to water it with anything but either blue or green water just because the blue will give you a power up the green will hold a zombie but mainly you don't want to plant a seed with purple water unless you have the challenge to kill zombies that are attracted to plants because the purple water will uh, make a plant that attracts zombies and it can be really annoying on this Easter egg in particular, since you know you don't want to have rounds end. All right, but you just water that three times. You can water uh, one time per round. After three rounds uh, of watering it, you'll get your reward. All right, so second challenge that you may have is water five plants. Self-explanatory, you'll just water a plant five different times. Third challenge you may have is shoot five spores. Those orange spores that I mentioned earlier, they'll be um, throughout the map. Just shoot five of them. Again, self-explanatory. There's a um, fourth challenge of use a spore to regain air underwater. When you're underwater, um, I'll be able to show one uh, here in a moment. If you have a spore, you can knife it while in front of it, and instead of running out of oxygen, it'll actually give you oxygen underwater. That way you can stay underwater longer. Because just like in real life, you cannot hold your breath for an infinite amount of time. Alright, and the last challenge you may have as your max ammo challenge is destroy cobwebs with explosives. I destroyed the one on round one with my grenade. Um, you'll have cobwebs on every perk machine and every gobble gun machine, just like over here. All you'll do is just throw your grenade at it, blow it up. Easy peasy. Next round, you'll get more grenades. Just go around the map to the perk machines or gobble gun machines and throw your grenade on. All right, now middle trials. You have six different challenges that it may be. The first one being obtain a power up from a plant. As I mentioned earlier, the power up will be three times watered with blue water. Will give you a power up. You have a small chance of getting a gun also, so just keep that in mind. Second challenge you may have is kill 15 zombies that are attracted to plant, which I also mentioned earlier. To make that plant, you would water a plant three times with purple water. I will show where that's at in a moment. If you do get that plant, I suggest making it either over here at the fan trap area or down here at the green water area. The reason is that those are two areas that you're not going to typically be around. So you, do, you don't have to worry as much about that 
plant attracting the zombie and killing it and ending around at the wrong time. Alright, third, ch uh, third challenge you may have is kill 20 zombies while underwater. Self-explanatory. There's water in different areas of the map. Just make sure that you are under the water and the zombies do not have to be. So you can just go get underwater and shoot the zombies that are around the map. It'll count towards it. Uh, next challenge is kill 10 spore infected zombies with headshots. Those spores that I mentioned earlier, you can walk zombies past them, shoot the spores, and this orange mist will go around the zombies. When you see them like that, just shoot their heads off. That takes care of that challenge. Kill a thrasher before it becomes enraged. Once you get a fully formed thrasher, if you have the, either the marshals or the um, easy go-to for doing it is the skull. Once you get it, just press left and right bumper, pull out your skull, and hold the right trigger while aiming at the thrasher. It'll complete that challenge. And then get 20 kills with the fan trap is the last challenge you may have. Behind this door, at the top of the stairs, is the trap. So you can just train zombies up through here, walk them upstairs, buy the trap, get your kills. You may have to buy it more than one time. You don't have to do it all at once. It's um, It adds together. And the last, or the top trial, the, um, the top trial, the one for the free perk slot, you have five challenges it may be. The first being to eat a fruit crumb from a plant. Alright, a fruit you have a chance of getting by watering a plant with blue, green, and purple water. So one color per round. The thing with the fruit plant is with watering it three different colors, you have a chance of getting either of those three colored plants. So like all blue water makes a power-up plant you have a chance of getting the power-up plant. All green water makes a plant that holds a zombie. You have a chance of getting that also. And the third, the uh, all purple, is the plant that attracts zombies. You have a chance of getting that. But you also have a chance of getting a plant that gives you a fruit. The fruit will do two things. When you hold X on it, you'll eat a fruit. Either you'll start throwing up, your character will, and you'll lose control of it for half a second, maybe. Or it'll give you a free perk. If you have four perks already, and you eat a fruit, and you, it gives you the perk, it'll give you the fifth perk. And sixth perk, you can actually give yourself a perkolic uh, using that method. Alright, the second challenge you may have is kill eight spiders with spores. The same way I mentioned walking zombies through spores and shooting the spores, you would just do that for the spiders. The spores kill spiders, doesn't change them anything, it just kills them. Uh, kill three zombies as they are mutating. I mentioned that earlier. You're able to take care of one of those right there as you open the bunker door. And by uh, to make thrashers, you would just get a train of zombies up walk on past the spore, shoot, just uh, stay aimed in or ready to aim in at the zombies you walk um, train through the spore because you want to make sure that you get that kill when you see one changing. So if it's at the back of the, your train or whatever, you want to make sure that you can get that. Uh, get 30 kills with the propeller trap or the plane traps, what I call it. I suggest either having monkeys or near death active when trying to do this just to be safe. But what you do is when you buy this trap, it comes down and it it's literally a fan trap. Or not fan trap, a plane trap. A plane propeller. You can crouch and walk up under it. Just be very careful because you know you can chop your own head off there. A trick for that to do that challenge is just train zombies up in this general area. Come through here 
and then pull out your skull which i don't currently have but i'll get in a moment but pull it out and hold left trigger what this does is it'll freeze the zombies and it'll help you let all the zombies that you can spawn right there around you and then go keep holding left trigger on with your skull go to the trap buy it make sure you're crouched down and just crouch up under it and then release left trigger that way you're no longer holding your skull out the zombies will start moving and they'll just you know start coming to the trap die easy peasy and the last challenge that you can have is shoot the heads off of five mutated zombies that's the thrashers it's self-explanatory just um, note that the head is not on top of their shoulders it's in the center of their chest well not exactly center but it's on their chest all right so i apologize for the extremely long you know just explanation there are additional videos online that describe and show each of the challenges but let's go do the second podium here whoops what? All right. So let's try that again. <laughs> now make sure that you have at least the RK5. Honestly, uh, if you want to be safe in the round, get your Perka or Speed Cola. Or not Speed Cola. Get your Perka or Quick Revive because these spiders are literally the most hated thing for me on zombies they can you know ruin your life but whoops so just be very careful when doing this one whoops that was a real zombie Right. I can actually kill some of these zombies. I forgot that I have some from where I opened the bunker door. All right, so those challenges are the main things you want to keep in mind as you just do everything or play the game in, uh, in general. You want to incorporate them as you play, so um, like right now, if I had the challenge for killing zombies underwater, if I wanted to kill any zombie, I should go and try getting underwater and then kill them. That way they all are getting used towards challenges. All right, let's obtain a power up and fruit plant. All right, so a tip for the fruit plant. You want to, um... You want to plant it as if it was going to be a purple. That way, worst case scenario, if it turns into a purple plant, you're fine. You know, it's over here, out the way. I also suggest planting two seeds when trying to get the fruit plant. 99% of the time, I've planted two seeds when trying to get a fruit plant. One of the two has given the fruit. I think there's been like one game in the last 50 where I haven't gotten the fruit. All right. Let's crouch here. Now, when you open bunker, before doing anything, you want to come through here and open up and cut on power. To cut on power, you swim under here hold X on this cobweb and you're going to get locked in here. Make sure you go up to the top to breathe. Uh, there's also a trick I'm about to sh uh, use. If you kill the zombies that start spawning in, coming in here, if you kill them before they come fully through the windows or if they're zombies that drop down from above, if you kill them right as they drop down, you're able to get points from them. 
normally you don't get any points. They're what I call fake zombies. They don't, you know, help you. But if you kill them before they come through the windows, you will get the points. Like I said, make sure to breathe. Alright, so let's play it safe and stay over here. Lol. Um, so that doesn't usually happen. Because fake zombies, no points, they also don't drop anything. Uh, twice in the past few dozen games, I've actually had it drop something like that. If it's a nuke, pick it up right away before finishing this uh, little light down. Because it won't end the round and that's a fr free, what, 400 points? One day flipping switch will not go so well. Alright. Make sure to keep a zombie alive. Now once you finished, you'll go right back to the cobweb that you held X on to start the ritual. It'll give out this little item. That item is for Pack-a-Punch. There's one item that you get in each area. So three items. Once you get all three, you just come hold them on their respective area. And that's what opens the door for Pack down there. Alright, let's see. So, at this point, open this door and we'll go do this ritual. But, the whole deal that I showed on round one where I got the 1500 points before getting chopper free, this is where that's going to come in hella useful. Alright, so we're down to two zombies. No other zombies on the map, as you guys can see. We have the points to open this door. Come down here and the pack-a-punch part that you get from here, you'll get by knifing these little cobweb sacks. One of them will uh, drop that part. You'll know because it'll uh, glow yellow on the ground. I don't suggest getting that right away. I just suggest coming in here, knifing two of these. They'll drop zombies. And now... The real zombies, you can actually go and kill. Because the fake zombies that I just made, they don't despawn. As in, we can go all the way across the map and those zombies will just slowly walk from right there all the way to spawn. Rather than like real zombies, they would despawn and respawn closer to me. Alright, so the third ritual is right there, but... We don't have the correct skull for it, so let's go get the right one. One thing this map could definitely use, and that's more fast travel. Or a fast travel, because heck, there isn't one at all. So let's go back to the ritual and do it. Like I mentioned earlier, the third challenge or the third ritual will spawn thrashers and zombies. The thrashers you don't really have to worry about as long as you don't shoot them. Specifically, their head off. <laughs> then they get enraged and they start running. Otherwise, they literally just lumber around. So just keep your distance and you don't even have to worry about them. If you have the challenge for shooting the heads off thrashers, if you feel confident enough, you can do so uh, with these thrashers, but be prepared for them to start running.
Once that finishes, pick it up. Easy peasy. Alright, now your very last ritual is uh, going to be at the docks. The way of getting to the docks is you come through here, which is the power room, and you normally you would open that door there. Don't yet. The reason I say don't yet is because you will open it later, but for now, save your points. Go and get your skull for one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to that ritual using the zip line, which is only 250 points. 250 versus 1500 self explanatory. <laughs> there are some things that cannot be purified. All right, so to ride the zip line, you have to make sure power's on, which we just finished doing a, a few months ago. Come here to the blue water lab, or that's what I call it. Um, come back here and buy it. 250 points it brings you down to the dock, and here's the last ritual. When you get down here, look either here, right here where mine is, or right here on this rock, and you'll get your last gas mask part. What the gas mask does is makes it so that when you walk through spores, you don't lose control of your character, which you normally would do if you don't have one on. Ugh. Dead spider smells almost as bad as swamp hell pig. I will stand my ground, even if it is soiled. All right, pick it up and ride the zip line back. If only zip line could take us away from this terror. Now you've got all three uh, gas mask parts. I suggest building it at this table. Inside of gas. The reason is that way you can build your shield down at the either the green water lab or in the purple water room. Both of which I feel are safer than right there. Just because later on in rounds, if you go through there, zombies drop in through the ceiling and they can trap you hella fast and hella easily right there as you're picking up the gas mask. All right. Now, once you place all four down, you'll be able to come do your skull or come get your skull. To get it, you do a little mini lockdown down there. A uh, couple of keepers or a bunch of keepers spawn in. You just kill them, which will get some fresh RK5 ammo. Um, don't do this unless you're confident or you're, you have quick revive, in my opinion. If you want to go to the next round before doing it to get quick revive or perka, absolutely go for it. Um, we're just optimizing, so we're doing it on round one. And I'm personally confident enough that I'm not worried about doing it without it. But the keepers, just be very careful. They um, they can down you fast just because they spawn randomly around the room. Just walk counterclockwise in circles, shoot the keepers ahead of you, and just focus on that. Um because they'll always spawn ahead of you and if you're sitting there trying to shoot ones behind you then you know you're just going to get down from the one spawning in front of you basic training uh you know methods so come hold x that's what'll start the little uh lockdown Oh, 
Whoops, see what I mean? <laughs> All right, now when you pick up your skull, hold X and spam Y right away. Very important. What that does is makes it so that you don't get the uh, common glitch, um, which is when you pick it up, it'll say that you can use your skull, but it won't actually allow you to use it until you kill a zombie. If you're down to a single zombie on the round, you know, you don't want to have to kill a zombie at that point just to do it. But worst case, if you know it bugs out like that, just kill a zombie and you're all good. But as soon as you can, uh, zoom in, you know, you can do it right now. Come to the purple water room. This is why it's called purple water room. Because it's got the purple water in it, by the way. <laughs> You'll see this half... Um, piece of paper on the wall what you're gonna do is press LB RB left and right bumper and then hold left trigger on it until it fully forms the poster when it does instantly put your skull away Some now at this point if you have any orbit here you're able to pop it to pick up the uh, first cog piece Those zombies that I made, like I mentioned, they don't despawn. Make sure you're to a point where you have fake zombies on the map before popping anywhere but here with all your real zombies killed. Because when you pop it, it's going to take you to this one room. And if you have real zombies on the map, they instantly spawn in there with you. And it's a quick way of dying. So the fake zombies, we don't have to worry about that. Now you'll see a bunch of guides that suggest or state that you have that you can't do the anywhere but here that you can't pop it until after you do spider balls or that you have to do it in a certain area of the map that's all bullshit or that's all incorrect information let's put it that way <laughs> all you have to do is make sure that you've done the poster after that you can pop it from anywhere on the map at any point in time and it'll take you to the room that I just uh, went to. And when you spawn in there, you'll just go. As soon as you spawn in, you'll just turn to your right, walk over and hold X and you'll hear it, pick it up. Or, you know, you can look for it. It's a silver little gear piece. Easy peasy. All right. Now, where's the other zombie? I should have two. I think I hear him up here. All right, so at this point, I can't really do anything else for this round. At this, uh, so we're gonna end the round. Just keep in mind as you end any round that right away, if you have a plant that you've um, planted, go and water it before doing anything else. It's the most important rule during this whole Easter egg is to do your plants first of the round. Otherwise, you're going to occasionally have situations where you don't water a plant all right away and you accidentally hit a nuke and end the round and bam, you know, you might have just ruined the plant that you were trying to make. All right. Also, when you're um, after cutting on power, you want to start the next round down near the green water. That way you get the... AT4 part. Um, to get it, you'll just see this zombie. He'll have a green neon glow to him. When you kill him, he'll drop the item. That'll be your first KT4 part. The hell is a zombie? Oh, there. Whoops. All right, so get over here to green water.
Uh, that's him. When he gets out of the water, uh, you'll see him more clearly. See the green neon glow? That's how you know he's your guy. When Nikolai hears click click, life may be over. All right. That was just me farming points. Now, unless you need to make a certain plant, always hold on to your uh, seeds unless you get three. If you have three, I always suggest planting one because if you have three currently picked up, you will never get another one to drop. Alright, there's that part. I am good finder of things. Let's hit our gobble gum. And we got our skull filled back up, so we'll Um see about going underwater and revealing the next thing that we can reveal with our skull. I swear, if Nikolai was not here, mundane tasks would remain undone. Alright, and nope, it's far so. This gum will taste better than Bolshevik. All right, so those fake zombies. Another really useful deal with them, instead of you know just doing Easter egg steps, is for the fact you can make two of them, and then go all the way to the other side of the map, pop fire cell, and not have to worry about you know dealing with zombies. So that's precisely what we're gonna do. There's nothing in particular you need out of the box. Uh, I personally always try getting the marshals. I keep wanting to call them Mark Threes, lol. Um, I try getting the marshals and then a dingo, but that's literally just luxury. Time to get gobbled, gum. We must act quickly before box reverts to miserly ways. Why does this make Nikolai hands look so huge? Come to Nikolai. I paid for you after all. He's no effing falafel, but he's good. Whoops, might have actually held X on the box. Things are looking up for Nikolai. If they will not All right, so you, like I mentioned earlier, you can always get Dingo, SVG, or Brecky from your second challenge. I suggest always getting the Dingo from that if you haven't gotten one out the box, just for the Spider Boss. For the Spider Boss, literally all you need is a Dingo. You don't even need it packed. It. I'll keep mine unpacked just to show, um, how easy it is. Come on with the marshals though. Rip. Maximum bacon. I do not wish to be reminded of the siege of Stalingrad. Oh, he's cute. And. I got one more hit off. Let's see. Yeah, lame. All right. So this I need to water with the green. Oops. Cause I my challenge is I've got to try making a fruit plant. I've also got to make a power up plant. So I'll make the power up plant just right here. That is, I gotta order three times with blue. And I'll try making another fruit plant right here. It may just be my personal biasness, but I always go when trying to make the fruit plant blue, green, then purple. Theoretically, you can do it purple, blue, then green, or green, purple, blue, whichever order, as long as you do it 
with all three different colors. All right. Now let's go. I'll actually hit a second goggle gum. Just so we get perk of uh, quicker. I could also use the points just to open the door um, down below, which I'll show in a moment. But we'll hold off on that for now. Hey, Perka. I think I always did have tooth of sweet. Of course, the basic rule: get rid of widow's wine. Like I mentioned, this map. You specifically don't want rounds to end before you're ready. Widow's Wine can make that, you know, that'll make that happen. <laughs> and just to double check. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do this round. Alright. So let's water this plant with green. This island, amidst the chaos of Division 9's work, another Takio awaits his future. Get rid of widows and see how them orange spores are so much bigger now I guess like, like I mentioned they get bigger each round I will return with more water so you may continue there's my first challenge done this I need to water with blue and then the one up there I need to water with purple and this is gonna be near death Let's get over with. General rule of thumb, if you have them available, if you get near death, uh, just keep it active um, as much as possible. That way, worst case, if you have an accident and somehow go down for any reason, it's always there as a safety. If you don't have many to spare, you know, just make sure you have quick revive. And if you've popped Perka, then uh, if you down, just dash, restart. Um, that's just a general Easter egg, a rule of thumb, and um, not you know Zetsubo specific, not Zetsubo specific. E. All right, now let's get rid of purple. That door I mentioned earlier about going down and opening, which I didn't open because I got Perka. We'll go open that now. Do you see how I've focused on my plants before even killing anything? That's something you want to get into the habit of doing just uh, throughout the whole Easter egg. And I need 40 more points. There. Let's make two fake zombies. Now, if you make a like knife and get the zombie and he's running, just go and knife the other another one to get two slow ones. That way you can just kill the fast one. Now we can kill all the real zombies on the map. Alright. So the last door, the one I was talking about, is down here. When you open it, make sure you have Jug at this point. Swim down here, and you'll have your pack part that'll be either right change that it'll either be right here right here which is where mine's at or it'll be right around the corner there against the wall all right so come to the end of the tunnel here and what you're gonna do is make sure to go to the top and breathe and then swim down you'll have to come all the way down here and this is your kt4 part hold that x on that to pick it up Turn to your right, 
Pull your skull out and hold left trigger to reveal this wall. That's where you're going to plant your rainbow plant, which is what you, um, it's a part for getting the upgraded or the KT4 upgraded. Most, uh, or change that, every guide will state that you have to get your KT4 before you can plant the rainbow plant. That's, again, misinformation. You just have to make sure that you have the KT4 before that plant finishes. So a plant takes three rounds it'll and it finishes on the fourth round. So as long as you have the KT4 built before that plant finishes, it'll work. If you don't, that plant will just die out and you'll have to redo the rainbow plant. You can also, the, um, to reveal that wall down there, you can only do that after you've revealed the poster. You won't be able to reveal it before then. Alright, now let's see. The last KT4 part, the one there in the middle, that's what you get on Spider Round. You will always get spider round either round five, six, or seven. So worst case scenario, you will always have your KT4 built on round seven. Now this is where that part that I was pointing out, you can plant the rainbow plant before having the KT4. As long as the, if you get your KT4 on round seven, that means as long as you have the rainbow plant finish on round eight you can plan it um you know before getting the kt4 so you can plan it on round five five six seven that's your third time watering the plant eight on round eight your plan will finish and by that point you know you would have gotten the kt4 already since as i said you always get spiders five six or seven so what we're going to do is all the seeds we get, we're going to save and all round five, we're going to plant the rainbow plant and we're going to plant all the other seeds we get with blue water to try making the bullet. The bullet is what you use to shoot down the plane to get the bullet. Every online guide will state that you have to water it three times with water, blue water typically, um, that you have to hit it with the KT4 all three rounds. As long as you hit it the last round with the KT4, you don't have, to, like, you can do it. It's the same as with the Rainbow Plant. So, we'll have the KT4 on round 7, which means, you know, we can plant Blue Plant round 5. 5, 6, we get our KT4 on round 7, hit the plants with it, round 8, our plants are done. Now, it's not a guaranteed that you will get it from a plant. Hence the reason we will plant all our seeds. Occasionally you will even have a game where you have to go extra rounds just to plant more seeds to try getting the bullet. There's, there's just no way around it, it's chance. Aren't you, but it doesn't, or, uh, my bad, ignore it. Um, Slipped up and was just speaking to chat. My, uh, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so let's end this round. And actually, yeah, let's end this round and then check right away to see if the plant over there became a fruit plant. You will take your own destruction. Now once you get your skull able to be used a third of time, come right inside here, aim at this door, pull it out and left trigger, and reveal that. What this is, is this is where you place your three cogs, one of which we got with the Anywhere But Here earlier. Alright, so now I can end the round, do plants before doing anything else. 
I must act quickly, lest I forget our And get rid of this. There. Shit. Okay, so mine did not become a fruit plant. This one didn't. Mildly impressed. So, I'll make sure to... That second plant I have going, I'll continue to try making it a fruit plant. Now, the way that I'm making these plants... Hey, there's a thresher. Uh, the way that I'm making these plants, you would be focusing on your challenges in your game. Whoops. purple plant down here or rainbow plant down here I need to hit with purple water I have plowed many fields it is All right now we'll get down to one zombie and then we'll go get rainbow water before ending the round skull seems to throb with energy I hope that because start of the round I'll plant the rainbow plant that way I can get, uh, get out from down there in the water since you're down there uh, where we revealed the wall earlier and you can get trapped down there easily enough so we'll water or we'll plant it and then get out from down there I personally hold off on getting the last shield part just because I use shopping free to open the door if you don't have the shopping freeze to spare or just want it uh, just to have it you can do so um, it'll be behind this door in a moment I'll actually show the fun locations why leave such potentially valuable All right that's a fast one we're just making fake zombies that way I can spin a gobble gum and if it's shot free I can pack although I uh, honestly don't have anything <laughs> that I would want to pack no you do not need packed guns on this map in uh, you know in particular for any reason I'll just do it out of luxury actually I may not even do it then just to, you know, prove the point. Oof. Alright, just making sure those fake zombies are still there. I'm gonna let these zombies come out here and then go in and hit a gobble gum. Really had crap luck on seed drops, huh? Fire cell. Who is leaving strange gumball machines everywhere? <laughs> Oh, let's hit fire cell. Maybe we'll come away with marshals. Um, we didn't have much luck with that box, so we'll actually come to the box location over here this time. Let us get over with. Moment of discomfort for benefit of future. Fire fail. 
For once, Nikolai gets to feel like millionaire. <laughs> Not that I want this. I look like Red Army recruitment poster. One shot, one kill is all good. When one only has one kill to make. Those fake zombies really are amazing, huh? Nikolai's hopes of conserving ammo. I will kick many asses, even if I suffer untimely shortage of gobble gum. And it's oh, I showed the marshals. If it'll just give them to me. If I do impersonation of local vegetation, then maybe I get many kills. Ah, the box listen. Go. Good shit. Any chance I can have a bigger one? I think putting assault weapon in hands of angry Soviet is excellent plan. Nikolai will put many holes in hell pigs. Marshals. Then two come at same time. So I correct myself. I lied. I most likely will pack them less for the damage and for pack them more for the fact that way when I use them it doesn't instantly reload and since I have Perkaholic it would be electric cherry and you know bam kill anything around you whereas if they were packed you get two shots and you wouldn't just instantly re reload anytime you use them and I guess we can actually hit another gobble gum this round Perka. Oh yeah, because we really need that right now. Right, so like I said, we'll plant the rainbow plant as soon as this next round starts. Now to get the rainbow water. To get rainbow water, you come here. What you do is you buy and as you're going through this tunnel, you're going to hold X at a certain point. You start off the uh, water around you is a green. Alright, so it'll go blue, green, blue, green. The color of the water as you're going through it. As you hit that, um, that, uh, last, bl or that second blue, when it's going from blue to green, you want to press X on your controller. Uh, another way of noticing is, um, when you're going from blue to green, you'll see a uh, blue uh, 115 rock on the right side as you're going through the tunnel. You want to press X as you pass, the, uh, pass it. It once you do it once you uh, once you do it about two three times, you'll be able to do it every single time. It's not hard once you've done it. Although to do it one the first time. It, you know, it can be, or just getting the timing right. So, blue, green, blue. We'll hold X as we were going through the green. Bam, rainbow water. Perhaps those pipes are lubricated with something. All right. Now, we're going to kill all but one of these zombies. That way that zombie is going to start hauling ass. And uh, I don't have to, you know, walk too slow. Zombies all the way over to where we're going. That rainbow plant is going down in the water. Where we revealed the wall earlier. You don't want to use rainbow plant any or rainbow water anywhere else. And you can't make the rainbow plant anywhere else. If you water this plant down here with anything other than rainbow water, it'll fail that like it'll um, turn into a bad plant and you will have to redo it. 
Come on, zombie. Where you at? Go ahead and shoot that spore. Just so if we have spiders, it doesn't kill it. Alright, so swim down. When you come in here, uh, down here, do not go too far back. Because if you get behind where you plant the seed and then plant it, you'll be stuck there. You'll you'll die. <laughs> Alright, so it's not rain or it's not spider round. But doesn't matter. We'll have the KG4 um before that plant finishes. Let's go check the plants that we made. Now at this point, any seeds that you get, you want to plant and water with the um blue water. Unless you're having to make a, another plant for some reason towards your challenges. I never doubted it. Of course it would work. Like I said, plant two plants and one of them tends to be the fruit. Now if you already have perka, you'll always throw up since you can't get another perk. Like I mentioned, the fruit per, uh, plant will give you a perk or it'll make you throw up. If you have perka, you're guaranteed to throw up. No way around it. Now, once you get all three, you're able to get electrified shield, but we're going to hold off on that. Since, well, since I don't even have my shield built yet. But that's just me, you know, saving points. Oh, right, plants. Make sure to plant seeds before doing anything else. Okay. No longer one knife kill. I don't think that was a seed there. Yeah, there wasn't. Yeah. Basically, aside from doing challenges if you need to, at this point it's kill zombies for seeds and to plant. Otherwise you just end each round to, so that you water each plant. He drops. Instantly go and plant it. Hit it with blue water. Let's go hit a gobble gum. Bit here. Oh, rope. Strange My bad, zombie. Magic and this should be either near death or something free. Near death. I think I always did have tooth of sweet. Ah! All right. We'll go ahead and re get rainbow water and go down and get down there so that when we end the round, plant. Or water rainbow plant and get out from down there. Blue, green, blue, and as you're going into the green, hold it. Ooh. Easy peasy. Bad. Very bad. Worse than ever, in fact. Now, if you've gotten spider plant. Or uh, if you've gotten spider round on round five, which I hadn't, you can get your KT4 
built, but I can't show that personally in this game yet and you know until I get spiders. Let's end this round. Awkward silence, zombies. There we are. There's at least one more. <laughs> um, just a random tip. If you ever come, like, there ever comes a situation where, if the thought uh, pops in your head, oh shit. Or oh damn! Pull your uh, skull out and press left trigger. If it'll freeze all the zombies, <laughs> you can you know get to safety, or you can just press right trigger and kill everything. Getting from down here, like leaving this uh, tunnels. That's um, situations most likely to occur on one of these rounds. So, you know, just keep it in mind that you can pull your skull out. Other tip is just, if you can have near death active, always do so. So, I'll have spiders on round seven. Or doing anything water seeds kill until we get seeds although I will make sure to get the shield built this round you, like I said you could have built it before now easily especially if it better helps you uh, survive I just have been saving the points for no particular reason another seed Plant that seed. Uh, might help if I had water. So I'm thinking I'm pretty low on zombies. So we'll go get shield. I think my pretty low on zombies need some <laughs> uh need some updating. Pretty low on zombies.
30 zombies left on round. No problem. Alright. I believe those are the last three. So, spiders, next round guaranteed. Like I said, it's always five, six, or seven. And one moment, I'll explain exactly what we're going to be doing for spider round. This is shopping free. Your, touch is unwelcome. Your shield part will be either right there, right there, or right there. I really should have just waited until after shopping free was done to actually um show those locations. Derp derp. Like I said, I'll pack these just. Wait a minute. There we go. I'll pack these just so that I don't have um a single shot. Whatever arms I may wield, I suspect my fate is sealed. Oh, fireworks. No, 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 no. I didn't actually intend to double pack those anyways. My mistake. This may be my only hope. This will not be the last time I visit this machine. Nah, screw fireworks. This is not the work. We'll take that wire even. All right. So, we're about to go get the shield. At this point, you will want to open this door. Not specifically at this round, at this moment in time, but... Um, mainly for once you have your challenges done, you'll want to open that door. Because there's a cog we're about to get that you can't get until you have done your challenges, all three. This will allow me to crack hell pig skulls with minimal effort. Now, once you've done all three challenges, you'll occasionally have lightning strike the platform here. You'll want to have it strike. You'll want... Oh shit. They're... This is not Black Ops 4. You do not pull out shield with luck bumper. Alright, so when lightning strikes, you'll pull out your shield. FYI, that's down trigger, not left bumper. <laughs> and you'll just go onto the platform. What it'll do is it'll electrify your shield. Be careful because if a zombie smacks your shield while it's electrified, it'll kill it. All right, so you're gonna have to do this at two, at two, at two points, or to get um, two different things. One, we also need the KT4 built, but we won't be able to do that yet. But actually, that's the one I was just running to for some reason. Um, but the other, you just need your challenges done. You will not be able to get electrified shield without having challenges done. All right. The cog is what we're getting with the electrified shield right here. What you do in solo, because this is different in co-op, but in solo, you come to this side. Do not go for, to, from the top of the zip line like every online guide shows you because you will down like you will kill yourself literally in the game um because what you what the goal is is you want to electrify the box here the panel that you hold x to um, buy the zip line on you do that by bashing it with your electrified shield when you then you put your shield away by the zip line and you want to get off of the zip line while you're over the dock so that you drop off and land on the dock trying to do that from the top you have to time it perfectly and if you time it wrong 
and fall off before the dock, you die. You fall out of the map, basically. End of game. Game over. Nothing you can do. Whereas, if you do it from the bottom, literally all you do is, um, once you electrify it, buy it instantly melee. Right away. Because melee is how you get off, and you're already at the dock, you know, you're over it, so you don't have to time it or nothing, just instantly do it. Bam, you land on the dock. So, pull your shield out, bash it, hold X, and then instantly melee. That did not just happen. Alright, actually I'm glad it did. Um, <laughs> So, if it ever bugs out and doesn't instantly like get, uh, let you off, it's a rare thing, but it, occasionally it'll do that. If it doesn't instantly let you off, do not keep trying to melee. Just ride it all the way to the top, no problem. Come get your shield electrified again. Go back to the bottom and do it. If it if it happens, it's a rare thing and it'll never happen a second time in that game. Like yeah, the second time, guaranteed it'll let you off. Um it's rare like I said, it's rare for it to not let you off the first time. But if it ever does that, do not keep spamming your melee button. If it doesn't get you let you off right away, just ride it. Otherwise you you could then, you know, Sit there and be knifing as you're just going up through there and it lets you off and bam, guess what? <laughs> that's that's just as bad as you know, riding it from the top. So let's wait and get lightning again. Once you bash something with your shield, um, as if you hadn't already noticed, once you bash something with your shield, you lose electric uh, charge to it. But if a zombie smacks it, it doesn't lose it. So, you know, zombies could be smacking your shield nonstop and you're going to keep killing them. It's not a, just a one hit and it's gone. You have to specifically bash something for it to go away. All right, same deal. Bash it. Hold X and instantly melee. You'll drop off and that cog right there at the end of the dock. Now, just come right here and jump back in the map. Easy peasy. And like the only other thing we could do with Electrified Shield, we can't do until we have the KT4 built, which we will do next round. All right, let's double check to make sure all the plants that I've planted are watered before ending the round. Yep, everything's watered. Perfect. All right, so what's going to happen? I'm going to start the round off down by the rainbow plant. Um, as before, that way I can plan it and get out of uh, from there. But on spider round, whether it's five, six, or seven, what you'll do is get a spider to come in here. By doing that, or to do that, literally just come hang out around the cage. These spiders will walk in the cage by itself. Not hard to do whatsoever. <laughs> Just make sure you know you don't kill every spider before letting that happen. Once a spider gets in the cage, come up here and hold X on this console. What'll happen is it'll pull the spider up and spider will go poof. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's the nice way of explaining it. It kills the spider and right there on this little arm it'll give this little purple valve cylinder. You'll hold X and that's the last 
KT4 part you need to build the KT4. Now, before ending the round, let's go get rainbow water for the last time. Once you get that last KT4 part, by the way, what you'll do is then come down to this room and you will go to this table right there and hold X. Like I can hold X now to place the two parts that I have, but I won't be able to get the KT4 until I place the third. But what you do, you place all three parts and give it a second and then you'll be able to pick up the KT4 from that table. You will be upgrading the KT4, which takes three additional pieces. One is the rainbow plant. Two is the um is the item that we'll need the shock charge for. I'll show it in a moment. And three is a part you get from the spider balls. You cannot go to the spider balls before you have the KT4. Like you need the KT4 and then you can go to the spider balls. It at that point you just want to make sure you have a dingo and your perks. If you want to get near death to be 100% safe, by all means go for it, but as I'll show the spider boss, it's face roll. Hardest part about spider boss is getting out from the spider boss area. And it's not hard, it's just you want to make sure you, you've watered all your plants since you may likely get a nuke coming out. I do not see problem with sewer smell. He's not the worst shit we've been through. Alright, now let's go in this round. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, and if so, I apologize for waiting this long, but when spores are really big, you'll hear them throbbing. That's how you know that they're uh, the size that I'm um, referring to. When they're at maximum size, if anything walks past it, they'll blow up by themselves without you having to shoot them or anything. So keep in mind that the spores will kill spiders. So if you have some of the big spores like that in the main areas you're going to be running through in a moment, just go ahead now and shoot them rather than the spores kill all the spiders and you not be able to craft the K24. This should be the last on me. Yep. All right, so rainbow plant. Now we'll go get the KT4. We want to make sure that we get the KT4 built and picked up and it be in our hands before we end this round. Otherwise, the plants we've made will not work. Like the, the rainbow plant will just turn into a bad plant. It's why you can't just plant rainbow plant on round one. Let's see what's this gonna be. Perko. Rup. Now be careful spiders can be hell of annoying there's a reason I hate them more than any other unit on Black Ops 3. Alright. Like, like I just shown, stay by the trap. One will go in, come up, hold X on the console. Spider's about to go poof. And it does. Go right there and pick up that purple cylinder from it. That's your last KT4 part. Um, let's go ahead and get blue water from over here real fast. Now we're going to get the KT4. 
pick it up and we need to go and hit all those seeds that I've planted with blue water or with the KT4 you don't have to hit the rainbow plant with the KT4 but all the others you do so that we have a chance of getting our bullet then we may be able to coexist. the bullets how we get our third uh, cog the third cogs the last one we need we got one from anywhere but here Second, we got from the docks with our electrified shield. Third, we'll get by going all terrace on a plane, flying around. Why did I really just try starting that? <laughs> derp derp. So, to be safe, never make the uh, KT4 your third weapon your mule kick weapon that way if you go down and lose mule kick a I would are uh, I would suggest you know restart if you went down with your perk and you didn't have near death but let's just say you go down lose mule kick you would not want your KT4 to be gone so make it your first or second weapon you can always tell what your first weapon is by pulling out your shield and pressing Y when you press Y you'll switch from your shield to your first weapon pressing Y again will show you your second weapon and then of course Y third time that'll be your third so make sure you put it as your first or second must be careful not to have accidents alright now we need to go use the KT4 to shoot all the plants that I've got planted I had cabin. Uh, if you're not on Xbox, of course, you would not hit Y. You would hit triangle or the equivalent um, on PC for, you know, switching weapons. I hope my generosity is generously rewarded. Alright, so, oh snap, there's another plant there. I'm glad I just ran through there and noticed that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get the electrified shield to, for the second item. The one we needed the KT4 to um, be able to do. Also, um, a little late uh, ref mentioning it now. I should have mentioned it earlier when we done the um, zip line. In a co-op game, I mentioned that um, the zip line steps a little different. You would still do it from the bottom, but you would not do it solo. What you would have to do is one person would get the electrified shield, and the other would buy the zip line. The guy with the electrified shield would have to bash the uh, box with the electrified shield to knock the other player off. So you wouldn't shield bash it before buying the zip line. That guy would hold off, have his shield ready. As soon as the other one bought the zip line, the guy with the electrified shield would instantly bash it. One of the reasons you do it from the bottom. Because, you know, it's hard to mess up that way. If you do it from the top, I mean, would you really trust someone to, you know, uh, send you off at the right time? It, you know, let's maybe I just got trust issues, but I prefer living. <laughs> All right, so come on, lightning. I don't have to keep all these spiders at this point. I just would prefer, you know, making sure to keep at least one. Just so I can do what I need to right here. Oh, 
Also, if you have the challenge for killing spiders with spores, after you get spider round, you can now actually spawn in spiders. Not a hundred percent, and it's not, you know, um, really fast or smooth, but it helps avoid having to go to round 11, 12, just for spiders for that challenge. What you'll do is after spider round, you'll just walk back towards blue water. Just keep doing that and you'll have a spider spawn in once or twice each time you do it. Sometimes you may not have a spider spawn in, which is, you know, fine. Just get away from there, make a loop around the map and go back. Because basically what it is, is when zombies spawn over there, they have a chance of being spider instead of the zombie. Not a high chance, but you only need eight spiders all together. So, all right. So once you get the KT4 built, you can get electrified shield for this step. All you do is pull out your electrified shield while up here in the green water lab, and you're going to shield bash this right console. What that's going to do is open the cage and you're going to get in. The cage will automatically send you down. In co-op, someone will shield bash it and then another one will get in. And one person has to stay up there, hold X on the console to send someone down here. Whereas, like I said, in solo, it's automatic. Now, when you get down here, crouch down. Look on the outside edge and you'll see the skeleton doll right here. Just hold X. If you panic and you don't feel like you have enough time, just spin and hold X and you'll pick it up. Promise. Worst case, you can always, you know, go right back down. Uh, or the equivalent on, you know, other platforms. Um, instead of X, you would use square or F on PC, I believe. All right. Now we can do spider boss, but I'm going to hold off on that. Just to make sure that right as this round ends, I'll get the rainbow plant picked up. Not there's no important or particular reason for that. Just that way I can get out from down there. At this point, you know, we no longer needed rainbow water. We just needed the, the three times to water the rainbow plant. So, an easy way of doing this right here is get to where you feel like there's only one or two, shoot here, and then swim down to the bottom. Because about the time you get down here, the round will fully actually end, and you can hold X to pick up the plant. Apparently mine didn't. There's one more spider up here. <laughs> but it helps you so that you can go ahead pick that up and then be heading back up here better get out before a full round of zombies start spawning in down here oh shit that would have been the last one like I said it's just a useful trick to help you out no big deal though and you always have a spore down there that you can use for air also apparently that was not the last one Oh. There. No particular reason I killed it with the KT4. Now, see? There's your plant. Old X. And let's get out of here. Let's go look to see if we've got a bullet made. Mass ammo! 
And we'll also be doing the spider boss. Alright, so now you've got... Oh wait, actually no, you don't have all three parts. Lol. You've got to do the uh, spider boss for the last... Um... 54 upgrade part. So... Let's go look around. Hopefully Nikolai get good flavor this time. Last one tasted like carpet. Swamp creature roar does not scare Russian. Oh shit. If you kill if you shoot those as soon as they pop up out of the ground, even with the unpacked marshals. You insta instantly kill them, whereas if they fully come up, for some reason, they're a bit more stubborn. Like I said, you can make the spiders, just like that. Alright, yeah, this is not going to be a bullet. That is how Russian bear does it. This one isn't going to be it either. Maybe over here. Oh wait, this one isn't even ready yet. Lol. And this one over here won't be ready till next round either. Now regardless of how many seeds you have planted, always when you have a fresh seed drop, plant it, water it, shoot it before doing anything. Or you know, don't go down or whatever. But just try getting it planted. I will show no Nikolai is not sure he should now if you're lucky you'll also come out with an imprint plant. The imprint plant is a chance of happening same way as the bullet. What, uh, what the imprint plant does I'll actually make it a point to get a imprint plant before I uh, fully end this game out or before I fully finish but um, to sum it up it is a safety if you go down you can bleed out and you're able to come back with whatever loadout you had when you made the imprint itself Let's go do rainbow plant, or not rainbow plant, spider balls. Um, useful trick is what I just done is if you shoot those orange spores with your KT4 and run through it, you get a pretty significant um, speed boost. The bigger the spore, bigger the boost, or the longer the boost. All right, so spider boss. Like I said, unpack dingo is all you need. You just wait for his mouth to turn yellow, shoot it in his mouth. Make old boy shut up. Mouth turns yellow, shoot. Reload. Mouth turns yellow again, and shoot. Do this three times total. Now, if you're using a weaker gun and you take too long, um, you may have spiders that spawn in here. If that is the case, just pull out your KT4, charge a shot, shoot it at the ground, let it kill everything. And when you're leaving from in here, you can come here and you're able to get free Widow's Wine. I've already got it since I've got Perko, but you know, Maybe you don't, you're not running Perko, in which case, you know, you can get Widow's Wine if you want. Too much of that already. You, I could have just kept running straight through there. Um, I just popped anywhere but here to get out just to um, be a bit smoother. But now, that's... Uh, also, I didn't actually even point it out. I was talking about the spiders. Um, When you kill the spider boss... Crouch down at its mouth and hold X. What it'll do is you're you're taking its one of its teeth. That's the 
part that you need for the upgraded KT4. It's the last part we need in this game. So I've now got all three parts. Let's come to this table. Whereas earlier we built the KT4 on that one, we'll upgrade it on this one. Place it down, give it a second, and you'll be able to pick it back up. Comes with power. Now we'll also go and use the Masamune, which we now have instead of the KT4. We use the Masamune to shoot all the seeds that we've I had dropped. Or that we've planted. There's no set hard data of whether that actually increases your chances, but at this point, you know, it definitely will hurt. Anything can grow beyond seed on this island. Uh, right here, spawn. Uh, let's get fresh blue water and in the round. Literally, all uh, last thing that I need is the bullet. Then we'll be able to go to the boss fight. Some games you'll get the bullet out of planting one single seed. Occasionally, you'll have it where I mentioned uh, earlier. You'll have it where you've actually got to go extra rounds planting seeds. Not really any way around that. Right on the bright side, it could be worse. You could have my box luck on Rev. Lol. Alright, let's see if we'll get it. This may just be it. See how it's got that yellow glow? Or those yellow um, dots to it? That's how you know it has a high chance of being it. Not guaranteed, because like this one, you know, wasn't it. You can also actually have more than one bullet, FYI. Alright, once you get your bullet, hold X if you pick it up. What you'll do... Uh, one second, I heard a big guy, so let's let him show up and kill him. There. All right. So once you get your bullet, you'll come down or in here to this room. Now, what you do is you crouch down, hold X. You'll hear the bullet load. Do not double check. Don't double tap. Don't. Oh, I, I'm not sure, so I'll hold it. Don't do none of that. If you're not sure, that's fine. Um, it just means that instead of shooting the bullet in a moment, you'll load it. No worries. At least then you'll know, hey, now it's loaded. But if you sh hold X again a second time and accidentally shoot it, you just guarantee that you've got to, you know, go a minimum of another four rounds because you got to make another bullet. So... Plan it, then just you can sit here and just kill zombies and get down to two, whatever. Um, another useful trick is what I'm about to do is I'm gonna pull out my skull and just slow everything down or freeze everything. I'm just trying to wait until I hear or see the plane up there. You'll see the plane coming through right there. Ah shit. Oh. Alright, so the I see I see the plane right there. You see it coming? Alright, so what you're gonna do, pull out your specialist hold X and just you just want that plane to roughly and yeah, I mean extremely roughly, there's a pretty large margin there. Just have it roughly lined up with the 
barrel of the um, launcher here. When you see that it's about to be roughly, like I said, roughly <laughs> lined up, crouch down, hold X. Easy peasy. Now you'll see the general area that it um that it uh that the cog goes to. I didn't just because uh had zombie smack me. But I'll just show you the locations instead. It'll be either right there. Right up here in front of the bunker. Ah, oh, freaking widows. Where I hate that perk. Right here, which is the front of bunkers, or the third and last location is going to be right, right here. You'll see it smoking on the ground. You just go to it, hold hex, pick it up. Now, once you've got that, you're ready to go to the boss fight. You'll come and place all three cogs right there and now you can ride the elevator down to the boss fight make sure you have a mask before going down here gas mask second thing get a near death Sorry right, guys, puppy issues. Mission. Now if you want to, also you can go and make a imprint plant. Like I mentioned, I'll do it before I completely finish this game. I'll just do it after the boss fight. Um, but you know, if you're overly worried, if near death isn't safety enough, FYI near death and solos literally unlimited self revives. But, you know, maybe you like to be 200% safe instead of 150% safe. <laughs> you can always go and just keep planting seeds with blue water, shooting them with the KT-4 until you get an imprint plant. Now, all you do, come here and shoot each of the orange parts. Here's the boss fight room. Shoot orange. And walk around room, hang out until you hear the boss. Sorry, again, puppy got tangled up in the cords below my desk. All right, back to what I was uh, explaining. Just shoot one of the arms of the boss, this big orange spore looking thing, and then just walk around the room. You can continuously kill thrashers that spawn. Honestly, that makes it twice as hard than just literally walking around the room. The yeah, uh, boss will make an audio cue. In a second, I'll, you know, point it out. When he does, you'll look, be able to look at him and you'll see that one of his arms is orange. You'll shoot it. 
with the Masamune. And it's just repeat. You have to do that four times total. Including the first time, which is what actually starts it. Make sure you, you know, you've snorted all your G fuel before this step because, you know, as you see, it's extremely intent, uh, it's, uh, intense, like it's insane. Yep. Really insane. All right. So that audio cue that he made that he just done, that's what lets you know that, Hey, you can shoot his arm or, you know, you could just keep an eye out and see the orange, but Whoops. Just shoot it. Continue on. A uh, second reason that I typically don't suggest actually killing the thrashers nonstop. A, you continue to have them respawning. But B, because you'll run out of ammo. Normally, you get X ammos to drop... Uh, pretty often in here but occasionally you'll get a glitch where you won't get a max ammo and that's it it literally will ruin your game you'll have to dash out because you can't kill the boss it'll be ready to be shot but you know you're out of ammo Not ready yet. Should be about ready though. Yep, there he goes. That's the third time, so we'll just have to shoot it one more time. I will stand my ground. Oops. The real boss to this boss fight is the spiders. Just because I hate spiders on on <laughs> zombies. Should be about ready. Oh, one more lap around. Yep, there it goes. Now, let me shut up for the cutscene. Your eyes, I recognize them. Almost as though they were my own. Takeo Musaki. I did not believe I would find you in such a place. I was a warrior. I fought many great battles for the glory of our nation. For the honor of the dying samurai spirit. I was a hero. I share this memory. I have lived many of the same victories. I later learned that my victories were unwelcome. His betrayal was driven by petty jealousy. He knew I could endure anything, that I feared not even my own death. Punishment is one thing. This is cruelty. Who could be so evil as to desire another soul to endure such suffering? Who amongst us could be so dishonorable? Are you so blinded by your own loyalty? The orders came from the Emperor himself. My life. My path 
He is a built upon a lie. This realm may have been corrupted and consumed by evil, but we possess the power to change things. A better tomorrow is only possible if we blow away the ashes of the past. None of us choose the means by which mercy will find us. But I am at peace. I understand what must be done. Will you be my Kaishakunin? It is my honor. to go. Guess it's you next, Nikolai. Nein. There is something else we must do. There is a chain of events 